Hello everyone and welcome to another Visual Basic 2010 Spreath tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to when you press a button to put text into a text box or change a label and do both at the same time. So first of all, we get a new work project. Then we want to make it button text box label test. Um, let's just call it button text box test. Actually, alright. So from here, you, you remember everything in the Solution Explorer text box. Nothing much changed. But instead, we're gonna be we're gonna get down our button straight away. It doesn't really matter about the window size. Make it a bit smaller actually, because they're not gonna put that much down. Let's uh, first of all change the button to um, BTN. Uh, let's call it. BTN uh, push and it's just nicknamed change the next the text to push. So for the capitals. Ah, there we go. Right, now what we want to do is go to here the label, put the label down. Labels are pretty basic, they basically show text and all they're really useful and it's also bring out text box. Text boxes are quite advanced. So on the label you may notice you can't resize it. To fix that, you quickly go to auto size and the I size in the uh, properties and change that to false, and then you can exit. Let's make this LBL title, and that'll be our title. Let's change the text to title. We want to have the fault font to bold, and let's put it to 18. Alright, so basically you have your basic label which you can move around, shove around, and uh, get it to different places. And you can also screw around with it. But also you can't extend the text box. So let's um let's make this TXT um let's make it TXT title as well uh, largely. And let's make it let's go to the text. What I could do is put in the text and put hello or when I run the program, so let's quickly start debugging it. It will be hello, and you could edit it like this. Of course, the button doesn't do anything. So, what we want to do is actually just actually so just so well, I think we'll also have a look at closing down buttons. So let's change, make another button and call it exit. Uh, let's make a BTN exit. Alright, there we go. So we've got our buttons now. We've also got our text box. So first of all, let's bring up the push code. So to get this, we want to go and have a look at the uh, TXT title. Then we want to put TXT title dot text is equal to. Um, you can even put them just in brackets, uh, just to make it look nicer, or in speech, just in speech marks. So let's put let's put it in equal to. Um, Hello world. That's so when we run the program and press push, it puts hello world in there. If I keep on doing that, I'll continue to put hello world in there. So that we've learned about t um, text statements now. So let's actually have a look at the label statement. So we put LVL title of text is equal to hello world as well so when we run the program put push and because of the label's size it's actually fit I extend the size the label run it again there you go so the label changes it's used this for error messages and such, or you can have a message box appear saying error. Now, for the um, exit button. Now, when you, of course, when you double click on it, it brings up a new code. This is how the code is split between each other. Um, exiting or uh, hiding the form uh, to bring up another form is really simple. All you do is put me dot hide, and say if you want. Um, something else to show so say if we made a different project window in fact this first of all let's run this 
So you put me.hide, you press exit, it disappears. But you do, however, have to stop the debugging manually because it's technically still running. So we have an hour. we now have a lovely hello world button and an exit button. Alright, I think from here we'll quickly learn about um, how to load up a different form as well. So let's get another form. You can just hold control and it will duplicate the button. It's always nice. So let's make it um, next. Let's just call it next. BTN next. And from there we'll go on to the next form. So what we want to do is go to BTN next, read the code for BTN next. It's actually not, oh, it's actually not liking it because of I dragged it. It's not liking to get the code, so you actually have to make another button because it's getting confused with the code between the button because I duplicated it. So we put btn next, and let's say next, and there we have it. So we have another next button. So we double click on that. And because we can't actually, we don't actually have another form at this point, so we go to project, add Windows form. Let's call it form two, just the basic out of curiosity. Now we have two forms, and we'll make a button here actually. Make it quite large. We'll call it back, and we'll call it BTN back. So we have now we've got two codes forms. So let's go to BTNet and call me dot hide then form two dot show what this does it basically allows us to close down one window and open the other one so we want to put me dot hide for the other button as well form one dot show so what we want to do is run the program on push works fine, exit works fine, let's run it again. This next loads up the next form. Press back and forth. It works perfectly every time. You press, then you can press exit. So now you know how to make basic um, text titles change and how to open and close different forms with the push of a button. I think next time we'll have a look at if statements and we'll also have a look at tries. So if you enjoyed and liked the video, remember to leave a comment and like, that really helps us me out. And subscribe if you're really feeling generous and I'll see you next time.